Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem in linked list. Problem is remove loop in linked list. So I would highly recommend that if you have not seen the previous video which is detect loop in a linked list. So please uh, like watch that video first. I'll share the link in the description because this uh, this jo this problem is directly like uh, it's like similar to that problem. So if you have not done that problem, you will not be able to understand this problem. So uh, in the previous problem, a detect loop in a linked list, we detected that whether there is a loop in the linked list or not. So in this problem, we will be discussing how to remove that loop. We, there, we are sure that there will be a loop. Like if there is a loop, then we have to like remove it if it is present. Okay. So let's see how we can approach this problem. So if we have this linked list, 1, 2, 3, and there is this loop, and we have to remove this loop. How to remove this loop? See, this linked list, if we remove this loop, will get converted to something like this. 1, 2, 3. Right? 3 is connected to 4. 4 is connected to 5. 5 is connected to 6. And 6 is connected to 7. But 7 is connected to 3, which is making the loop. So, this connection will break. Now, 7 next would be null. Right? So, this, kind, this linked list will be without loop. This will be without loop. So we have to make this without. Okay. So uh, let's see how we can approach the problem. First we'll see uh, in this question, right? We have a specific pattern how to solve this question. First we'll discuss that pattern. And after that we'll discuss the logic behind that. Right? How the like why that is like working out. Right? Okay, so first of all, if you remember the previous question where we will where we were discussing about how to detect the loop in the linked list, we had take we had used Floyd's algorithm, right? Floyd's algorithm, and in that what we did was we took two pointers, slow and fast. Both were initialized to head initially, right? Head. This is our head, right? This is our head. So over here also we'll do the same thing. Exactly same thing. We'll take slow. We'll take fast. Both will be initialized to 1. Right? Slow is here. Fast is also here. So now slow will move by one step. Slow will be slow. Next. And fast will move two steps at a time. So fast will be fast. Next next right so let's see so what fast slow will come over here and fast will move two positions one two so fast will be here right then slow will move one position and come over here and fast will move two positions so one two fast will come over here then slow will move over here and fast will move one Two, over here then slow will move over here and fast will move one two over here then slow will move one position over here and fast will move one two so see we got slow and fast at the same position slow is equal equal to fast in the last question when this condition is there we can surely say that we have a loop and what is the logic behind this i have discussed in the last video so you can check that out link in the description now over here we in this question we have to remove the loop right we we have detected the loop we have detected the loop now we need to remove it so in order to remove it what we'll do is after this step right when the slow is equal equal to fast we will move the slow pointer again to the head fast will be there only but the slow will move to the head so we will initialize slow again to the head <coughs> right and after that we will again move slow by one position and fast will now move by one position not by two positions only by one position so see, 
स्लो विल कम ओवर हियर एंड फास्ट विल कम ओवर हियर देन स्लो विल कम ओवर हियर एंड फास्ट विल कम ओवर हियर सो नाउ सी स्लो फास्ट मीट्स अगेन एंड वेयर दे मीट दैट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द लूप लाइक दिस इज द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द लूप राइट दिस इज द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द लूप सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज when we get slow is equal equal to fast that point is the starting of the loop starting of the loop and the the like before the like fast node where they are meeting before that this node in this we have to just seven next should be null we have to just put sevens next to null so this is our approach so how we'll do is let's try, uh, see again so earlier what we did was we have this linked list we had this linked list what we did was firstly we took slow pointer and fast pointer slow was moving by one position and fast was moving by two positions so they collided at this position slow and fast were collided at this position so we got to know that there is a loop right now what we did after this was we moved slow to the head again and now both of the pointers will move by one position so we have to just we have to stop at this like our fast should be should be stopping at this position because sevens next we need to do null na right so how we'll do that is we will check slows next and fast next like means slows next is it equal to fast next so slows next is 2 fast next is 7 do no they are not equal so just move them ahead now just see slows next is 3 and fast next is also 3 so they are equal at this point when this is equal what we'll do is we will in the fast next we will put null so sevens next will now be null so this is our approach now let's see why this thing works why this approach works what is the logic behind working of this approach we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so let us let us assume that this distance like from the starting node head till the starting of the loop this distance is m right and the total number of nodes total number of nodes in the loop is n n is number of nodes in loop right now let we all agree on this part is that the speed of the fast pointer is two times the speed of the slow point like this this like point makes sense right because fast pointer is moving two times and slow pointer is moving like at a time one position so the distance covered by fast pointer will be two times the distance of slow pointer right <coughs> so so suppose our slow pointer and fast pointer were meeting over here right they were meeting over here so uh, let us assume that this distance is k right from the starting of this and the uh, like the covered uh, the distance covered from the starting of the loop till this position where they both are meeting is k so what will be the distance moved by the slow pointer let's discuss that slow pointer how much distance the slow pointer will cover first of all it will cover m right m distance plus now suppose uh, the slow pointer has taken x x cycles like x cycles so it would be x into how many number of nodes are in the in, in one cycle it's n so n plus this k this k k distance right what is this x x is the uh number of cycles 
नंबर ऑफ साइकल्स कवर्ड बाय स्लो पॉइंटर राइट सो दिस इज द डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय द स्लो पॉइंटर नाउ सिमिलरली व्हाट विल बी द डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय द फास्ट पॉइंटर इट वुड बी एम एम प्लस सिमिल लेट्स लेट n into let the let the cycles covered by the fast pointer be y so n into y plus k this distance now this will be if we see this equation then fast like fast pointer distance is equal to two times the slow pointer distance right so now let's solve this equation 2m plus 2xn plus 2k it will be equal to m plus k plus ny right 1m 1m will cancel so this will be m and 1k will be cancelled so m plus k and this 2xn will go that side so ny minus 2xn and if we take n common so it would be 1 minus 2x right m plus k so now If you see that this is like this will be an integer, right? Y minus 2x will be an integer. So let us take this as a i, some integer i. So it will be n i and m plus k. So from this, what we can assume, we can conclude that m plus k is a multiple of n. Is a multiple of n. What was n? N was the number of nodes in this loop, right? Number of nodes in the loop. And m plus this k distance is equal to any multiple of n right so then what m will be equal to m will be equal to ni minus k m is equal to ni minus k so this equation tell us that what will m be equal to m will be equal to ni that means uh, the like the distance minus k so this this distance this distance which is left over this distance is equal to m so that's why when we move the slow pointer and fast pointer they will cover the same distance and they will like come at the starting point of the loop right so i hope you got the logic behind this now let's see the code <coughs> so in the code it's very simple first of all we take two pointers slow and fast slow will move by one position and fast will move by two positions we will be moving them and if slow becomes equal to fast it means that we found the loop so just break from here and if slow is equal to fast what we'll do is we will again initialize slow to head right and then we will traverse until slow next is not equal to fast next we did over here right like slows next until slows next is equal to fast so that we can come over here we can find this three node and sevens next should be then null slow slow will move by one and fast will move by one and then at the end fast next we will do null and this condition this if condition is for if our slow is is equal to like if the fast is also at head the what that means is let's see this is a special case see over here we have 1 2 3 and suppose we have something like this right so initially our slow will be at 1 and fast will be 1 then slow fast slow will move by 1 and fast will move by 2 so fast come here comes here then slow will come here and fast will go 1 2 here then slow will come over here and fast will go over again here so now they are equal right and how to remove the loop we need to go to threes threes next and do it null right we have to change it to null so just over here what we are checking is if slow and fast are equal and slow is and slow we had like move to slow to head but they are still equal means they are at the head they are at the head then we need to go to the, this this node we need to go to this node so what we'll do is we'll move fast next until slow so 
uh, fast next until it's not equal to slow so then fast 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 it's next is slow so it, over here fast pointer will stop and we will uh, change fast three is next to null so this is a special case when our slow and fast like uh, the starting point of our loop like the cycle starting point they, when they meet at the head you can say when they meet at the head then we need to follow this case so i hope you understood the question i hope you understood the logic behind it it's a very easy question just uh, it's an extension to the detect loop in a linked list this part is same just this part is uh, the extension and if you like the video uh, please like subscribe hit the bell icon so that uh, you get to notify every time when i like put a, post a new video and please share with your friends uh, and we'll meet in the next video